Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Sockbot, and today I wanted to talk a little bit about the aesthetic within Dreams, and that aesthetic that may or may not pervade pretty much every single game that is made within Dreams. But specifically, that debate is what I want to talk about today. Um, this has been a big topic of discussion on Reddit, as well as a few other message boards, and I know that it's something that a few people there are worried about, but also it's something that I think is going to become an even bigger topic once Dreams releases fully as the full game. But uh, if if you do enjoy this more discussion type video, I will be talking a little bit about tips towards the end, but uh, feel free to leave a like down below and feel free to subscribe if you want to see more of this in the future, because uh, I love talking about dreams and I love talking about games with you guys. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Specifically, I want to answer four questions. One, whether dreams even has an aesthetic, which I will spoil now, it does, but as with all of these questions, it's more complicated than that. So I want to answer number two, if that aesthetic applies to all games made within dreams. If a general aesthetic kind of exists within the game as a whole, but completely doesn't follow on to the create mode, well, that's not really what we're going to discuss here. But then, number three, if a general aesthetic harms dreams as a game creation tool, I want to talk about that. And number four, of course, if I have any general tips on the dreams aesthetic, I will give them at the end. I'll go more into that last one when we get to it, but first, if you do enjoy this video, like I said, feel free to leave a like down below and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I know that a lot of subscribers haven't been seeing me a lot lately, and it's not because I haven't been posting, but, uh, well, this is YouTube. So Dreams has an aesthetic. That was the first question, right? Can we move on? Well, not exactly. A Dreams has an aesthetic that Media Molecule created for it, sure. To me, it's like an ethereal storybook theme that serves as a window to tell abstract stories that strongly resemble, and here it comes, Dreams. Okay, I apologize, but you had to see that coming at some point. At any rate, this sort of theme lends itself well to creators who want to create something ethereal or thereabout, but the downside is it potentially limits the breadth of games that anybody could create within Dreams. So an important follow-up question for anyone that wants to create something less storybook and more real life, for example, and gritty perhaps, is does this aesthetic apply to all games made within Dreams? Well, no, it doesn't. You can find example after example of very non-Dreams Dreams online, and even Media Molecule themselves have explored very non-Dreams games within Dreams. A portion of their games released during beta in early access have been somewhat realistic examples. For the first one, the dream where you play a fighter pilot in a spaceship, well, I mean, that's pretty obvious. While this sort of game is definitely possible within Dreams, though, I will still admit that the larger portion of Dreams do feel very Dreams-like, and the Flex are largely to blame for this. Dreams makes it very easy to sculpt whatever you want, and the ability to loosen objects in their settings reduces the time that it takes to refine a sculpture. It's incredibly useful. This feature allows anyone to make an aesthetically pleasing sculpt with much less effort, but the flex that it uses to blend out objects' edges are limited. Likewise, objects begin to take on a sort of similar aesthetic, and that's the storybook or ethereal aesthetic that I talked about before. But I don't believe that this is necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I think that having a prominent aesthetic is pretty much a totally good thing for dreams. Sure, some might argue that this encourages a uniformity between levels, but the benefits, in my opinion, far outweigh the possibility of things looking a little bit too alike. Take Little Big Planet for an example. A recognizable aesthetic is popular even within a play, create, share game. Little Big Planet's DIY aesthetic is still one of the most memorable parts of that game, and it's still the aesthetic that I use when I'm creating games therein. Uh, in other words, well, it's likable and Dreams is following a similar path even within community games as I mentioned before. This aesthetic also draws people in in the first place. The majority of players are going to buy Dreams and play through its story mode early on because they find its aesthetic interesting. Think of some of the most popular indie games of the past decade. Limbo, Journey, and again, I would argue the original Little Big Planet, though that's not an indie game, but they all owe a lot of their success to their aesthetics. Furthermore, if someone plays Dreams for this reason, just the story mode, and they find that it is easy to create a similar aesthetic themselves within create mode, they'll be far more likely to continue producing content for Dreams. And more content means more staying power for Dreams, which I would sure call a good thing. Nevertheless, too much of the same does get dull after a while, so I want to share some tips on escaping this aesthetic, as I guess we'll call this section. Starting off at the new game concept stage, natural environments are very easy to create and very easy to use to avoid this sort of aesthetic. 
you can use simple sculpts and loosen them only slightly to create a natural environment that is more recognizable to the real world than it is to dreams. On screen, there's a great example of this. It isn't very dreams-like, but you can see a few uses of loosened sculpts for the natural architecture. Another option polar opposite to this one is incredibly unnatural terrain. Metal landscapes and modern buildings are largely made of sharp edges, which are easily achieved through grid mode and the stretch tool, or at least that's what I would use to make them, but with less blending and little to no flex, these stray pretty far from the dream's aesthetic. Time save sculpting and worrying if something looks unnatural because, well, it is unnatural, is always a great thing. Obviously, this is incredibly detailed and it's far past what we're discussing here, but it does show the concept taken to an extreme. Another benefit of this modern scenery is that you can go outside just about anywhere to find inspiration, and I can almost guarantee that it will be unique inspiration. But now on a more general level, my biggest suggestion is to just use the loosen object less if you really want to avoid your level looking too dreams. It's that object outline that becomes so familiar in my opinion because there are only a limited amount of flex available to create that outline. Yes, you will have to spend more time sculpting to get the outlines of your objects a bit more perfect without flex, but as expected, the more time that you spend making unique details for your scenery, the more unique, unique your level's going to be. It just kind of makes sense. And as an aside, even super detailed level assets can be reused numerous times if you make them right. I've talked a little bit about this in a previous video, but of course, let me know if you want me to make another video about that. I would totally be down for that. All in all, Dreams has an aesthetic. They make it somewhat easy to create within that aesthetic, but it's definitely possible to escape it and create something that's completely unique. So I hope this guide helped anybody that was looking for some way to escape that just generic dream storybook aesthetic, although I still don't know why you would want to, but uh, you know what, maybe it helped you. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Do you think over time that there's going to be less and less dreams-like games and more and more unique ones? Or more importantly, do you find that the aesthetic you're going for actually is harder to create within dreams? Let me know in the comments down below, and again, feel free to like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Um, I am shooting on a different camera today. Let's see if it actually makes any improvement. I, I switched from this camera to my phone, because the resolution's the same, but I don't think everything else is the same. I am not a huge camera guy, but I guess we're going to find out. But anyways, I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will talk to you in the next video. But for now, goodbye!